hey guys welcome back to another video my name is diane class i have a little two and a half year old boy named archie and a newborn daughter named scotty grace i recently had a little girl it was a surprise gender so in the entire 41 weeks that i was pregnant almost 41 weeks right yeah almost 41 weeks that i was pregnant i only purchased a few gender neutral items and thought that i was having a boy like i in my heart was convinced that it was a boy and to our surprise it was a beautiful baby girl and we're so excited and we're so happy we would have been super excited and happy either way but all that to say we were not prepared with little girl items so today i am filming a little girl's baby girl newborn girl <laughs> clothing haul so i have a few things that we've purchased a few things that have been gifted to us by friends family um my sisters are the absolute best aunties in the world they've been sending baby girl a bunch of things um and my best friends have sent things for the baby as well so i wanted to gather it all together i want to wash everything tomorrow because she's been in big brother's hand-me-downs pretty much since she came home from the hospital i mean we've we bought like a few sleepers that were like gender neutral but like i don't know to have a girl is so much fun so i really want to dress her up super cute super girly i love dressing myself up i love dressing my son up so why wouldn't i want to do it up with my daughter i remember when i first told my best friend that we were keeping the gender a surprise she was like are you crazy like what if it's a girl and you don't have any bows and i thought that was the funniest silliest thing but boy was she right because like i can't tell you how desperate i felt to get my hand on some bows and the i did buy like one pack of bows just in case on the off chance it was a girl um i don't know why i say off chance because it was literally a 50 50 chance but when i tell you guys like i was very convinced my entire pregnancy that it was going to be another boy i was very convinced so if you haven't seen my labor and delivery vlog you will hear my husband's reaction um to finding out that it was a girl and my reaction to finding out that it was a girl um so i'll leave a little like card here so you guys can go ahead and watch my labor and delivery vlog it's really special and i don't know i love that video so anywho that's the longest intro ever let's get into this haul uh, i have bows <laughs> i have some pants some dresses some tops some little onesies all the things so if you're interested in what i have been purchasing and what has been gifted to our newborn little girl then keep watching okay so first up i want to share with you guys some of the more practical things that we've gotten for her this stuff was all gifted this is stuff that my little sisters i call them little but they're not little my sisters have a uh, scent as gifts so my sister jen sent a pack of these i only pulled one out because they're all kind of the same they're just like these little one piece things with buttons and it has like the little i don't know the butt looks like a little a balloon butt i don't know what to call it but they're so cute and sweet and gonna be super easy to use they're a little big right now she's definitely a true newborn size if not a little smaller she was born seven pounds six ounces um and she's currently weighing around like seven pounds three ounces because they lose a little bit of weight um and she's swimming in her newborn stuff so those zero to three month items i've washed them and everything like that but we're saving them for when she gets a little bigger and i'm in no rush for her to get bigger she can stay as tiny as she wants for as long as she wants but this is another pack of just again practical little girly onesies this has hearts on it this one is so cute it has watermelons on it i feel like this lighting is washing things out quite a bit so let me is that better i don't know i can't tell if that's better but little bright green with watermelons which i think is so cute um and then a few more similar to that this little pink one with little giraffes and elephants and hearts and then this little floral print one and they're just again 
onesies in the size zero to three months so she doesn't quite fit in these ones yet but they're washed and ready to go for whenever she does start fitting into them and then um also for my sister she got her newborn onesie so these do fit her currently she is still kind of swimming in them but they're um like black and pink black white and pink is like the theme of these onesies here we've got this one with the hearts on it this black one with a bunny rabbit this pink with the polka dots just like cutesy and then this like plain pink one they're like this really sweet little like powder baby pink my lighting is doing this no justice sorry guys <laughs> i'm like filming downstairs in the nursery because i don't know why i could have filmed upstairs but anywho i'm here the clothes is right next to me so it just made more sense for me to do that and then this huge pack of like things came in an amazon order from my sister as well and the sizes for this is zero to three months so again just a little bit big for her yet but um this one, this one's like a mint green blue color with some flowers on it it's super cute and sweet and girly these need to be washed so i'm actually gonna put them over here and then there's this little guy i like the colors on these she's got socks this is the color scheme i would say of the of the pack of clothing that she bought you can hear my toddler slamming on the door um like mint green, mauvey pink, cream, and like baby pink. All of the items are pretty much this color scheme. And then she, so it's got these little socks. These are a little big on her. They're actually very big on her, but she'll go into all this stuff. So that's great. We've got the little mittens so that she won't scratch her face. And they match the clothing items in the pack. And then there's bows that correspond. So I've got tons of little bows super cute and sweet her head is not as big as her brother's head somehow i still tore way more with her um <laughs> and then the pants little pink pants the green color pants the mauvey pink and then this little like elephant cream and then <laughs> as the bibs like this is a whole set of things i got it from my mama so cute she's gonna be so matchy matchy and adorable and then dang my sister hooked her up <laughs> we've got the onesie in the mint green the elephant the cream some more onesies over here oh these are long sleeves which is nice because she's like a little cold girl she's like her mama i run cold i feel like i'm always cold even in this hot weather, I'm, I still find myself a little bit cold. Not while I was pregnant. While I was pregnant, whew, I was like always sweating. And even now when with nursing, I'm like in between the stages of sweating profusely or feeling cold. And then it also comes with burp cloths. Again, those same prints kind of repeated throughout. But this is like a super nice gift. I mean, if you guys have somebody that's getting ready to have a baby a pack of the of this stuff is like amazing it literally came with everything and several things that you would need like onesies pants sleepers bibs socks bows the whole night so that's the stuff that i received from my sisters she also got me bows which i'm so happy to have bows <laughs> my best friend was right it's so important to have bows when you have a little girl like there's a few hand-me-down items from her brother that are definitely more masculine but you throw a bow on it and i feel like you can't even tell that it was supposed to be for a boy but they all look like this they're so so soft and stretchy they stretch really nicely they're very very soft and i mean titi went off she got her so many bows there's tons of colors and then my best friend also sent a pack of bows and they're actually like really similar to these i'm pretty sure they're the same material and there's there there's just different colors so she has like all the colors that she'll ever need i'm pretty sure there's never going to be an outfit that i can't 
match a bow with. I do want to pick up a few smaller bows um, because her head is so small. These bows are super adorable. They fit her great and they're just, they seem comfortable on her head, but they take up her whole entire head because she is so small. So I want to pick up if I could find some smaller bows that are still like gonna fit her head that'd be great so if you guys know of any places that sell maybe some smaller style bows for like newborn size heads that you guys would recommend please leave them in the comments below i would love some recommendations <laughs> next i'm going to show you guys some things that i purchased for baby girl they're more like dressy pieces things that like i would put her in that are not like the everyday onesie and stuff so this is the stuff that I had a lot of fun shopping for her for, so I'll show you guys that stuff next. Okay, so this, I believe, is from my mom. I don't think I bought her this. I think my mom picked this up for her. But it's this super soft, kind of fuzzy cream shirt. It has really cute detail, like a little like ruffly detail on the bottom there so cute with the little button it's adorable um it's three to six months so it's not gonna fit her now but it actually does look kind of small for three to six months um and this is from zara got that recently this piece i picked up at old navy on sale zero to three months it's just perfect because she again runs cold all the time it's just like this cute kind of oversized looking uh waffle shirt in this army green color and then my mom bought her this super cute dress from Zara. I love the colors on it. Let's see if the camera will focus. Yeah, there you go. It has like, this is like January's birthstone color, similar to it. It's like a dark burgundy color. Um, and we're both January girls. Um, I think I'm going to put her in this little dress for my birthday. I turned 31 this month on the 24th so this is a little big it's three to six months but we'll see if she fits in it or sort of fits in it by the time my birthday comes but I think this is so cute I love that we're both January girls it's just so fun to have a little girl I really never just I never pictured myself having a girl I was very certain I was going to be a boy mom and I was so content with being a boy mom but to have a daughter it's just like so different in like a lot of ways it's really like similar to just having another baby regardless but in other ways it's just so different um anywho this little dress my mom picked this one up from old navy super light and airy um zero to three months so i'm gonna actually create the pile of the stuff that i'm gonna be washing now all of this stuff can get washed really next up is this adorable little like overalls from old navy so stinking cute i love the color of the denim and the little white flowers throughout and then i think these like balloon pants are called bloomers i don't know my i have to ask my best friend she's got two girls so she knows um but isn't this so cute with like a white little onesie underneath She's going to look so stinking cute in this. She might, yeah, she might have to wear that on my birthday too. I don't know. And then I got her this little newborn set from Carter's. Um, it's just in this like pretty mauve pink color. It comes with pants and it comes with a little bow. It's more like of a wrap, like a hair wrap. I kind of like it. I think it, it should fit her. It looks small enough. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm going to throw this one in the wash. And then we picked up some pants from Carter's. They had a sale, so I went in and got her these little like black legging style pants. They say three months, but they do look like they run a little smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash them and see if she can get some use out of them now. These little sweatpants are newborn. Um, so cute with a little cuff at the bottom and it has a little pocket on the butt. They're like this really soft, creamy pink color, which is like my total vibe and aesthetic. I got her these little like faux denim leggings. 
their three month size as well but again they look kind of small so i think she should be like able to wear them now it's so weird how like the store sizes and i noticed this for my son too the sizes at different stores will fluctuate like a, a size three month at i don't know zara is so different than the one at like old navy like this is three to six and it's so much bigger than the carters three to six i feel like but these little like mc hammer pants they're like this like tan color like this kind of caramel tan color i don't know if they're coming off this the right color on camera but i love them they're like this linen-y material they have these cute little buttons on the front this will definitely not fit her for a while so i probably won't even bother washing that just yet and then my mom got her these little gray pants with the ruffle on the butt so cute zero to three months from old navy they look really tiny though so i'm gonna wash them and see if i can get some good use out of them now and now up next is just like a few more items like some shoes socks and things like that okay so also from old navy i got her this little sleeper i got it in the next size up three to six months because she doesn't really have that much three to six months and babies grow so fast it's really sad but it's in this like pinky color again it's getting kind of washed out by my lighting here but she's got this same one in gray for zero to three months so i just got it in the next size up and i did this like cute pink i like this shade of pink and then i got her some tights she could probably wear these with dresses or i don't know something that she'll need pants for they're zero to six months so i don't know how that works because a six month old and a zero month old are very different in terms of sizes but these are just some baby tights they were on sale from old navy so i got those my mom bought her these little booties they're like socks but they're like booty style socks they have little strawberries on the front and then this one says hello they're just so cute and they match with like pretty much everything that she's got and then my mom also picked up these washcloths that you can use as washcloths or burp cloths so she only has blue burp cloths so it's nice to have some like girly ones and then i got her some socks because i don't have like any socks that fit her i had this problem with archie too as a newborn i could never find socks that were small enough for his feet and tight enough that they would stay on also he hates socks He's hated socks his whole life, so maybe he just kicked them off on purpose. I doubt he could do that as a newborn, but like as like a four month old and forever on, he's always taken his socks off. He takes his shoes off. He just prefers to be barefoot all the time. But I got these like fuzzy cream chenille little socks. Hard to see because my lighting is washing everything out. Anywho, they're just like fuzzy cream socks and they look like they're going to be tight enough to stay put on her foot. So hopefully. And last but not least, this is like my favorite little thing because they're so cute and tiny, are these little like clog style shoes. Look how tiny this shoe is. Can you see that? It's so little. These are zero to three month from old navy in this chocolate brown color it has a little strap on the back it has a little faux fur lining the inside they're so adorable <laughs> so i thought these would be cute so that she's not always just only wearing socks and like if she's if we're going somewhere and i want to kind of dress her up a little cuter i can throw these on her but okay so that is everything that i got so far for the baby i did have an h&m order that arrives on monday so you might see me throw in like an extra clip of those items if i can i'll do that hey guys i'm coming to you guys from the future to finish this haul so it's been a few days since i filmed the first half of the haul and i finally got my h&m stuff so i wanted to add this part in for the little girl clothing haul because like, these are super cute pieces but anywho let's just go ahead and dive right in and finish out this video i got her this little like purple mauve set it's so cute it's like this waffle material 
in this like grayish purple with the little buttons in the front and then the pants to match. I love a cute neutral matching set. I got this in a newborn size, which she still very much fits in the newborn. She's like still swimming in newborn clothes. Then I also picked up this. This is so cute. It's like this really sweet kind of petal pink onesie. Again, I got it in newborn size. It has like the front buttons and the buttons on the bottom for easy diaper changes. Love the color of it. It's like this really sweet little ribbed material. And then you can pull the sleeves down to cover her hands. A little cloud. And then it has the pants, which look like they're gonna be too big on her. Like these definitely are gonna be too big. And it has that little cloud detail. So cute. Love this color, and then this one also comes with a sweet little hat, which I love. Next time I take her out of the house, I'm going to probably put her in this one because it's just too sweet. Love a matching set, and then the rest of this is like what a pack of onesies and then a pack of just neutral pants. Love neutral colors because you can kind of like pair it up with any top that needs pants. I got this in the size zero to one month. So I think that's kind of supposed to be newborn. Oh yeah, these are definitely newborn. Look how freaking cute. I love these like little like kind of like MC Hammer style pants. I got this little taupey brown color. It comes in this like creamy white color, um, a light cream color a white color and then that cream color again so one two five pants and it doesn't say the price i forget how much i paid for these i want to say it was like 19.99 for five little pants love these because they're the perfect size for her like these are gonna fit her good now which was what i wanted because everything she has she's like swimming in and it makes me feel really sad <laughs> This is definitely my favorite stuff that I've gotten so far because it's just easy everyday pieces and um, I don't know, you can kind of dress them up or down. This is like very similar to that matching set that I showed you guys earlier with the buttons down the side and the clasps for diaper changes. Similar color but different material, doesn't have like that really pretty ribbing. This again is like a nice little like mauve petal pink color. I got this like dark gray, kind of has like a, it's just kind of like a dark gray color. It looks a little purple on camera, but it's not. It's definitely like a true dark gray. And then this sweet little cream colored one with some black flower details. Again, same thing, the three buttons on the side and then the buttons for diaper changes. And this is also in the newborn size. I think this is gonna fit her a little bit big right now, but perfect because she'll be able to kind of use it for longer. But anywho, now that completes the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this little baby girl clothing haul. It's been so much fun shopping for a little girl. It's so different. I remember being a boy mom, I would look at the girl section and be like, oh, there's so many more options for girls. But I was very much content with dressing boys, like, cause I, I don't know, I just like the neutral aesthetic and I feel like you can get away with that easier with boys than you can with girls. Girl stuff tends to have like a lot of prints and like kitty cats and rainbows and flowers and too much going on. So I always kind of didn't mind the boy section for things, but it is kind of fun to dabble in the girl section because there's just like too many cute things for little girls. Like, but yeah. Anywho, that completes this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I will catch you guys on the next one.